Every product in the Tarot Sessions is a reflection of the brand who created it. A reflection that encompasses the spirit of the craftsman who brought it into existence. It's after they've willed this product into existence that they are then assigned a card that best accurately describes who they are, where they've been, and what they've overcome to get where they are today. I'm assigning this project a card that represents clarity, breakthrough, new ideas, concentration, vision, focus, and truth. I give you the Ace of Swords. Let me tell you, first off, creating this one was one hell of a roller coaster. See, this, the story about it is about a year and a half or, or so ago, I started on this project and I decided early on that I really wanted to make a pre-styler. See, I was going through this kind of pre-styling phase and, and okay, it was more like an obsession really for whatever reason i just really focused on making uh amazing pre-stylers i was going through this like pre-styling pre-styling exploration if you will and what came out of that exploration originally was this jarred pre-styler it was really cool it had two kinds of clay on it and and at the time it was a really good idea i mean this pre-styler worked with every other tarot sessions product that, at that point that had been released you know my testers loved it it was just a killer product all around there was just one problem with it though it was boring i was bored with it i i i was just bored i i mean i i wish i could sound all important and prophetic here and come up with something you know like deep within me lived a spirit of the perfect texture spray you know the, the truth is I got bored with making jarred products. I mean, at this point, I've made like a dozen jarred products. You know, I've 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 done a lot of them, and they're they're all awesome. I'm not saying anything bad here, you know. But creatively, I, at that point, I just really needed something to just blow my hair back, so to speak. So I I literally I tossed that one. I tossed it away. Yeah, you know, I decided I was going to start completely over, and I kind of just sat back and waited for something to come along that really got me excited, you know, and, and, and this didn't come to me quickly, you know, after months and months and, you know, a, lot, a long time of just not really thinking about it, you know, I was making videos, I was working on other projects, I was just going through the paces of life, you know, I wasn't really thinking about this tarot project that much because I was kind of just waiting for something to come to me, which eventually did happen. You see, what happened was I got a really bad texture spray one day. I was testing one out for another brand who wanted me to to make one or or be a part of the making of one. And they sent me this texture spray saying it was like this big seller. And, and you know, they wanted me to try it out and see if I could figure out why it's such a big seller. And I tried it in my hair and it quickly I realized I was like, this this sucks. This This is really bad. I then immediately had this thought as I usually do, well, this needs to be fixed. How can I, how can I fix this? This needs to be better, which then spider webbed off of into this other little section. Why do sprays have this that happens? Why, why is it like this? How can we fix it? Where, where's this feature that's on the bottle? That's not what I'm seeing here, you know, and then it just hit me. I need to make one of these. I need to make the spray with all the features that I want to see and that I'm not seeing in other sprays. So I did. That's it. <laughs> Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society is the Ace of Swords Activated Clay Spray, named specifically because it's packed full of clays and it does require a little physical agitation to get the power players mixed in. Now I'm gonna stop here for just a second because this is really important. Here's what the bottle looks like, you know, and then I got one without a label to show you guys this real quick. We did choose a white bottle 
on purpose because this product is so packed with clay and sea salt the, that if you actually let it sit for more than just a couple of minutes without shaking it up, it all will settle at the bottom here. And when it's settled like this, it's really important that you guys don't try and spray when it's like this because it won't work right. One, you won't actually get some of the, the clays and stuff. It has to be mixed in the solution in order for you to get the full effect. But two, you'll clog your sprayer. I'm gonna come out and say it. I mean, it's it's so thick at the bottom that you will clog your sprayer. And when we're talking about activating it and shaking it, we're not talking about a long time of shaking it. I mean, we're talking like eight to 10 seconds here. That's all it takes to shake it all up, get it all activated, get it mixed into the rest of the product. Eight to 10 seconds, that's all you need. And really, if you shake it more than that, you're playing with it. Under the hood on this one though, we've got a lot going on. We've got those clays we just discussed, bentonite and kaolin, which provide volume, dry texture, matte finish, all the good stuff. We also have a nice infusion of salt from the Dead Sea for good measure. And, and all that's just the tip of the iceberg too, because the next thing that I wanted this to have is hold, and I mean a hold. So not only does this formula contain VPVA copolymer, which for those that may not know, that's commonly found in things like gel, or hairspray. It's usually described as that ingredient that gives things like that hold factor that you find in those types of products. And, you know, in this case, we've got two of those. We've got two of those hold factors here because not only do we have that, but we also have PVP in here, which is another fixative all in itself. So we've got double doses of tacky, sticky, hold slinging fixative. So trust me when I say hold is not going to be a problem here. The last two things that I want to touch on with and wash out. For health, this this mostly comes from those other sprays that I use that I told you about a second ago that I thought were pretty much garbage. You know, one of the garbagey things that they did in my hair was they made my hair feel dry and almost crispy feeling. To fix this, we added some argan oil, which is, you know, it's magic for the hair. Everybody knows argan oil at this point. We added some of that in there, makes your hair feel amazing. This also adds as a heat protectant if you're someone who feels like they need that, which for me has never been a problem, but I understand that some of you guys feel like you need to protect your hair from the heat. So that is in there for you guys with that. For washout, we do use a combination of ingredients here and just a crap ton of water to make this 100% uh, water rinse out. This is something that I wanted for sure. It had to be a water rinse out. And actually, I think this was one of the easier objectives to achieve on this product, if I'm being honest. It comes out super easily. There's a ton of water in this spray, so it just rinses right out of your hair. It comes out super easy. Now, let's actually talk about using it. We just talked about the blow dryer. Let's talk about actually using this. When designing this spray, I set out with just three goals for this section. One, it had to perform well obviously just had to perform well two it had to be easy to use and three as a pre-styler it needed to work with any post styler so with all that being said you can use this as a pre-styler obviously if you want you can spray it in your damp hair and air dry if you like you can air dry if you want or you can blow dry i think you actually get more benefits if you blow dry it in but you can use it however you like. You can then use it again as a post styler if you want. You can just spritz some in at the end there and then style as you prefer. Or you can use any post styler you like to finish things off. In my hair personally, you guys know that I prefer to blow dry. That's just how I do it. And what I will do with my hair is I'll simply go around my head a couple of times and then I will grab my blow dryer and just let it go to work. Here is the result that I get with it. You can see there's great volume to start with. The finish is there hold is on another level right now which might be hard for you to see but I can actually feel it as I run my fingers through and now I'm perfectly set up for whatever direction I want to go in with my post styler. Just to give you guys a quick second look too, here's another head of hair for you to see this work on and this was shot a while back at my salon with my stylist with somebody who's got shorter and a little bit thinner hair than me as well and for those wondering she's using the last sample before production started. We were actually planning on coloring it red that's why hers is is red but we decided against that afterwards but more importantly you can see how it's working for this gentleman who has a thinner hair type than me and a different hairstyle completely she didn't actually have to use as much as I did for starters but it still provided all those killer attributes that I got in my hair thus proving that this was designed and works for all hair types and lengths now you will be able to find the ace of swords at the Lockhart shop on August 13 2021 so this week along with all the other tarot sessions products 
favorites if you're interested in looking at those. And if just getting this awesome spray isn't good enough, while supplies last, you will also be able to get one of these mini swords free with every order. These are full metal replica mini swords. They're freaking awesome. I did keep a couple for myself because this just tripped my nerd alarm big time. They're very detailed too. I couldn't believe how much detail is actually inside these when I got them. I'm not yet honestly sure what I'm gonna do with the rest of them, but I'm sure I will figure it out. And you could be figuring it out with me if you if you want to. You just gotta pick up a bottle here at the Lockhart shop. I mean, I want you guys to have one of these swords. I want you to have one. Lastly though, actually lastly, Actually, lastly, I just want to mention that I am super honored to be counted alongside those amazing and inspiring brands who have made stuff for the Tarot Sessions line and with the Lockharts especially. And I would highly encourage you to check out this line if you haven't already, the line of products. These brewers are incredible craftsmen and I'm just really excited to be at the table with all of them. So if you haven't yet checked out the Tarot Sessions, go check that out. I would also highly suggest you check out the Ace of Swords. A lot of work went into this product and I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm extremely proud of how it came out. And I just forgot, just completely forgot, this is why my lastlies are never actually serious. I totally forgot to mention the scent. I have no idea how I forgot to mention the scent because the scent is so awesome. I'm super stoked about this. We got a custom scent on this product. It's based on my Fearless Cologne, actually, from my Dauntless lineup that you guys love so much. I get so many compliments on the Fearless Cologne. So what we did was we took that and we added in some boldness to it, the overall profile of the fragrance and just kind of added in some bolder notes. It came out so good. I call it Fearless Bold. It's so good. It smells so addicting. It's a killer scent. You're all going to love it. I'm absolutely sure of it. But that is actually it for the Ace of Swords. That's actually it. I want to thank you guys for the opportunity to share this with you and a special thanks to the Lockharts again for the invitation. I mean, I swear I could think of about 10 other people who they could have asked to make something, you know, for, for their sessions line. And they still came to me with the offer. So I'm, I'm, that's just unbelievable to me. So thank you so much uh, to them as well for the invite. I want to end this now by sharing one thing that I really love about brewing and working on these types of products. When you begin making a product, when you plan it all out and you get it looking just absolutely perfect on paper, that's really all you can plan for. You can make an initial plan after that, you kind of have to just roll with it. You really can't plan for the detours and the curveballs that that project is going to present to you. I mean, the road to creation is a very interesting one, and it's always filled with surprises. You never really know what you're going to discover along the way. A good example of that is when Steve and I were making Nevermore and Enigma was accidentally created, or when Wade from Flagship and I were making a different spray, not this one, a totally different spray at the time for a, a different brand and we used too little water and Cornerstone was created. I mean, being open to following the roads where they lead is key here for me. Getting off the main road for a bit and exploring a new path that could lead to something totally unexpected. That's part of the reason why I do this. Some of the, some of the surprises that come up while you're trying to meet your goal of making something awesome. It's like little seeds of aw awesomeness pop up while you're trying to make the big awesome. In this case, we not only achieved our goal of making this amazing amazing spray, but just like those other projects I just described, doing some exploring also paid off in a big way.